Hey Superstars, welcome back to one of my Through the Mail autograph videos where I... You know what? I need a break from my intro this week. I'm gonna steal someone else's. The Wheel of Fortuitousness has chosen Mr. Michael Myers, so... Hey, welcome back everybody. This is another TTM video. We'd like to get autographs TTM or through the mail just by sending our favorite athletes and celebrities cards and drawings along with a self-addressed stamped envelope. When we get returns, we come to YouTube, make videos, share the information we've got one today. So let's get right into it. Time to draw Mr. Tim Laudner. <laughs> that felt weird. This is another one for Caleb's Junk Wax TTM Challenge where he sent a bunch of us packs of 1986 Topps bubblegum cards. And whoever gets the most returns from their packs wins. And I'm not doing so hot in this contest, but it was still a lot of fun. And part of that fun is learning about players I wasn't really familiar with, like Tim Laudner here. I mean, sure, if you look on Wikipedia, you'll read about how Laudner was instrumental in the Twins 1987 World Series, and how he was an all-star in 1988, and how he's now a color analyst for the Twins. But I'm all about digging deeper into the nonsense section of the interwebs. Like how he was drafted by the Reds in 1976, but his true love was tag team wrestling. See, before that, Oily Laudner, as he was known back then, and Butch the Brute Weiniger formed the fearsome tag team Oily and Weiniger. But Weiniger was drafted as well and signed with the Twins. After losing his tag team partner, he dejected Laudner and enrolled at the University of Missouri, thinking he was enrolling at the University of Misery, where he moped around for three years looking for another tag team wrestling partner. Meanwhile, Butch the Brute Weiniger, who was having a grand old time playing baseball, decided to check in on his old buddy. What he found was a stinky shell of a man, a man who once reveled in oiling up his perfect muscles to take on the likes of Rock and Roll Express and the Killer Bees. A man who was now just oily and gross. He had a job flipping burgers at the Burger Chef, but he was spending all his money playing Missile Command. Weiniger went back and convinced the twins to draft his old buddy so that the two could become tag team catchers. And Oily and Weiniger were back, baby. It didn't really last long as the twins traded Weiniger to New York. The twins really liked Laudner, but they knew that he would always need a good tag team catching partner. So, during his nine year career, they paired him up with such names as Sal the Butcher Butero, Mark the Palindrome Salas, and uh, Lenny Webster. <laughs> Hey, look at that, I like it. Here's the 86 tops from Caleb. Let's get that sticker on there and off to the mailbox. I spent so much time making the wheel of fortuitousness that I ran out of time to shoot the new mailbox footage. Let's see what we got. As always, I told him he could keep the doodle. He signed the 86. Kind of hard to see the dark on dark there, but I'm very, very grateful. So another point for Team Reindeer. Thank you, Mr. Laudner. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. Stay healthy, be kind, and we'll see you next week. I want to play Missile Command now. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew.